Hey everyone, it's Miss Griff, but feel free to call me Sarah, and I am here with a brand new series. Um, my voice is a little deeper than normal right now, so that's fun. Um, but yes, so this is a challenge I wrote myself. It is the Sims 4 Love to See Story Challenge, or something along those lines. <laughs> I can't exactly remember right now. But it is a very, very exciting for me, because it's... It's my challenge I wrote, and um, this is a new tattoo if anyone's wondering why there's plastic on my shoulder. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and read you the rules, and I really hope you enjoy this part. Sims 4 Story Nevesy by me, Miss Griff. This is a multi generational challenge inspired by the Sims 3 Nevesy Challenge with a slight twist of a storyline for those non creatives out there. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of room for your own spins and storytelling if you enjoy that like me. You do not have to follow rule by rule and make the game fun for yourself. That's the point, to explore stuff you haven't and have fun with the game again. If you want a bigger twist, you can play vanilla, well, create a sim anyway, I don't think anyone can live without certain mods. Since packs are a little complicated to disable, you can play with all of them installed, just don't play with their aspects until it's unlocked through the generations. Objects and creative items are free for grabs, are free for grabs though, unless you want that extra challenge. As far as seasons and my wedding stories, I'm allowing those as free for all to have throughout all the generations as my wedding story doesn't have as much gameplay you can make an entire generation out of, and as far as seasons, I just can't live without, but I wanted to combine this gameplay with aspects of cottage living. Please enjoy this ongoing challenge I'm writing as the packs release. Please tag me and let me know if you play this challenge with me. There is my Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. Generation 1, the family-oriented criminal. You are a party animal, non-criminal, crazy, but resourceful. Despite your use of protection, you got incredibly wasted at a party and boo-hooed with three different people. And of course, Mamma Mia style, you got pregnant. Not only do you not know who the father is, but you discover it's with triplets. That's a major wake-up call for you, and you give up your days of partying for your family. One with three kids, and one parent. Yeesh. Having dropped out of high school and only your street smarts to age you, you join the criminal career to give your children more than you ever had. So here are the guidelines for this one. Always go out when asked before you have kids. Have woohoo slash try for baby with three different sims in one night. Have triplets, cheat this obviously, join criminal career after discovering you're pregnant, sell any collectibles you obtain, master at least two stages of the party animal aspiration, then change the big happy family aspiration when kids are born and achieve at least one stage. Have the non-committal trait until you give birth, then change it, the rest is up to you. Start in a two bedroom house with only the essentials, then put money at zero. Um, start with zero simoleons and only earn through collectibles. Include collecto trait until you join the career, of course. And you can only replace broken objects. No repairing. This isn't in order for the next gen to grow up poorer, but it is optional and you have to live in a base game world. So that is generation one. Now let's get into the game. Okay, so this is our sim, Raylan Moon. She's gorgeous. I love her so much. And this is our founder. Um, I decided to go with the last name Moon because I'm basic as fuck and I just think it's a cute name. Um, so this is Raylan, of course. Um, this is our little starting house. <laughs> like I said, start in a two bedroom with the bare basics. So we have a kitchen, we have a bathroom, and we have a bed. And that's all you need to start out. And we have zero simoleons, and I'm so excited to get this all furnished up and everything. I find it a very exciting way to play the game, and um, I have a few houses like this and my save file that I'm working on. Um, but yeah, eventually I think it'd be cool to have a little side yard with like a little pool or something for when we have the kids and everything. I think that would be fantastic. So what are our whims over here? Buy a bar. We will definitely be doing that, but I think it's going to be one of those, like, portable bars. Um, and have a water balloon fight from the summer season. We are starting in summer because it is summertime, and why not? Oh, she'll soon have her period. Fantastic. 
Um, so let's see, let's go fishing while we wait for some collectibles to pop up. Dislike fitness, I suppose. Oh wait, that's bad, cause um, don't we need the fitness skill for um, the criminal career? Oh, um, whoopsies, that might have been a bad idea. Oh look, we have some froggos. We do have some collectibles, okay, so we'll go fishing until we can't anymore, I suppose. And get these collectibles. And I have placed down a lot of sims, so, you know, we won't be stuck with the same townies and whatnot. So that'll be fun for her to make friends and everything. Super exciting. Um, let's see. Are any of them walking around? That's a teenager and also a teenager, so never mind. All right, are we gonna catch any fish? I don't know, we'll see, I suppose. Uh, oh, we caught a minnow, fun. Um, let's stop and go get these collectibles though. We have a frog and I'm gonna keep two frogs so we can breed them. Or, well, no, never mind, I can't do that. I have to sell all the collectibles. It's not me forgetting my own rules. Um, oh, that's going to be rather frustrating. Oh, and she, wait, why is she, she was thinking about kiddos. Oh, okay, who are we talking with? Oh, Clara Burton. Um, but let's go ahead and sell all this stuff. I'm not going to open the capsule, and just like that, we have 162 simoleons, so we can actually have dinner tonight. Mortimer got the newly redecorated, yes, redecorated, so we have to introduce ourselves to 10 sims, so we might as well go ahead and introduce ourselves to these sims. Why not? Um, Clara... Jergsen, um, and Mortimer Goff, we have introduced ourselves to two of those sims, and we need to have three friends, which we can easily do by taking photos, <laughs> um, it's not cheating if it's a game mechanic, um, but maybe we should go knock on a door, so, um, I don't know, that's kind of, oh wait, we have people over here! Alright, so let's go do a respectful introduction to these people. I forgot we get like a little welcome wagon. So let's see, who do we have? Okay. We have a couple of guys, so they could be prospects for, you know, the babies. So this is... Uh... Uh... Gejmir, um, Gejmir, uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Gejmir, um, tell me if I am pronouncing that wrong, oh, he's cute, we have Gejmir, oh, oh, that was not, not what I wanted to do, oh, okay, I don't know what's going, okay, my mouse is being weird, okay, we're just gonna, Okay, whatever. Woo! We'll go into tab mode. Oh, he's cute! What is his name? David Collins. Okay, so let's come introduce ourselves to these people. There we go, the mouse is fixed. So, let's stop talking to Mortimer and go introduce ourselves. Okay, girl. We are going to reset you <laughs> and go introduce ourselves. Well, like I said. Are they still here? One of them is. 
so this is um, uh, Chihiro. Um, so we have Chihiro, David, and Jishmir. Um, maybe maybe it's Gijmir. Jishmir? Gijmir? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I feel bad. Well, let's go introduce ourselves to our neighbors. And maybe we can make good friends with these since, you know, they came to greet us and everything. It was very nice of them. Ooh, we have first sentiments. Oh, we did. I, I guess I clicked on respectful introduction. So we introduce ourselves to everyone. Um, let's um, get to know them. Uh yeah, just get to know them. Oh, we have a bad sentiment with the guy I can't pronounce. That is understandable. I can't pronounce his name. Um, and he can't exactly tell me how to pronounce it. So I'd be a little upset too. Um, we'll discuss some neighborhood changes, even though we've only been here for a day. Let's share some photos. Um, tell a funny story. And why is there a little kid? Pierce Delgado? Okay. So here's our welcome wagon. Is this fruitcake ours? There was fruitcake over here. Um, I, I guess so. I guess that is our fruitcake. Oh, I didn't put a sink in the kitchen. That's unfortunate. We'll thank them for coming, of course. We're a little angry because we're PMSing. Um, I feel that. <laughs> I'm alright. Um, glad we had a chance to chat. I guess she's gonna go calm herself down in the mirror. Let's share some photos. Um, gossip about neighbors. We'll invite them in to our empty abode. So we need to introduce ourselves to Ten Sims and have three friends. So I think we'll go and visit one of the households soon. Um, yeah. So let's do all the introductions and invite them in and everything. Um, maybe I quite like David. I don't know. He seems. I don't know, what are our sentiments? Let's see, so with David, let's open the sim profile and see our sentiments. So we think he's responsible and he thinks we're proper and polite and we view him as very attractive. What about Jijmir? Oh, we perceive him as basic looking. Yikes. Um, and he doesn't quite like us anyway, so that's okay. And what about Ch uh, Chihiro? Um, Admirable and adventurous. Okay, okay. Oh, who is this? Um, Hikaru. Uh, let's go ahead and do a greet new neighbor. Um, they, they're kind of matching. Cute. Thanks for coming. So we have another neighbor that stopped on by our empty house. Let's do an impression. Um, what are our sentiments with Hikaru? We perceive him as attractive and he views us as an interesting sim and very adventurous. Um, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's we're gonna go ahead and um, take a photo of, let's take a photo of David. We'll just take a photo of all of them <laughs> um, until we become friends. Um, it's not cheating if it's a game mechanic. 
and we're just going to sell these. Uh, take a photo of, we'll do Hikaru since we find him, well, we find him attractive. We find David very attractive though. Take in all the photos. Oh, take, I guess we're taking a photo with Chihiro. That's nice. And did she made herself a ham and cheese sandwich. It didn't cost money, so I'm not going to complain. Oh my gosh, Raylan is so cute. Like, I can't. I, seriously, I, I cannot. Take a photo of... Jishmir. Jishmir? Jishmar? Jishmar. <laughs> oh no, that pose! have three friends. Fantastic. Um, and the welcome wagon is about to end. Are you even hungry? No. Why did you make a ham and cheese sandwich? Then. Um, okay, okay, we're gonna eat it. Um, aren't they supposed to be leaving? Yeah, they're leaving now. Uh, Jishmir's staying though. I thought he didn't like us. Hmm. Interesting. Gejmi? Gejmir. I like Gejmir more than Jishmir, because Jishmir sounds like gibberish. So we're gonna clean that up. Goodbye, Gejmir. Um, is that wall different? No. Okay. It's just a lighting glitch over there. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so maybe we should go... Oh, we need to pee, and it is almost night, so maybe we won't go introduce ourselves. Um, okay, so it's only nine. Uh, let's go fishing some more, and we should... Oh, there's a collectible right here. So the collectibles show up again over like the next day right yeah um is there anyone out and about oh our mailbox is all the way over there uh whoopsie there is a couple people out and about oh that's jishmir or gishmir not jishmir and jamie bartlett but let's go ahead and fish until we're tired and then we'll go to sleep Maybe we'll catch a fish. Oh, I didn't even tell her. I didn't even tell you that her traits. She is non-committal, jealous, and active. So it's kind of ironic that she doesn't like fitness. Hold on. Who dislikes fitness? Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that because she's an active sim. So it doesn't really make sense. So we reached level, our uh, fishing level two. That's nice, I suppose. Are we gonna catch a fish? I'll stop when we catch a fish. Oh, there we go. We caught a something. Um, so let's do this collectible and then we'll go to sleep. She's marching along. She's, she's stunning. She really is. Like, I cannot. Beautiful. We found the limestone, but let's go ahead and go to sleep. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell all of this. And 138. Ooh, we got 300 even. Interesting. Oh, we're going in the back door. Nice. So we're going to sleep. Snooze. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this series because it is a challenge I wrote and I really, really hope people go ahead and do it and enjoy it along with me. Um, and yes, I am very excited about the werewolf pack because that means I get to add another generation. Um, there are a couple generations that I have not written yet, so, um, maybe, um, someone can 
some people can leave suggestions and help me out, that would be nice. Um, and we need to buy some tampons. And that's not high school tampons. There we go. Because we are bleeding. How fun. Oh, are you not going to make your fruit salad now? Make your fruit salad. Was there cake in the fridge? Interesting. Interesting. Heard you came friends with Cutter. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Um, why did I say thank you? That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> Alright, we're making a fruit salad. How very nice. Alright, and then we're gonna go ahead after we eat. We are going to put away. We're gonna clean this up. And I need to put these in the inventory. Ooh! And we have to go out to the lounge. Alright. Okay, we have to go out to the lounge because there's a celebrity. Interesting. Okay. And I don't really consider this playing with aspects of Get Famous yet. Because I did say we have to go out whenever we're asked. So I'm going to let it slide because we aren't really playing with the celebrities or anything. So I think it's fine. And here we are. And Chihiro will go ahead and tell a funny story. Um give fake bad news um okay is there a bathroom in which we can use a uh yeah here we go okay cool so we can go ahead and take care of this and we are a little smelly oh she's wearing her hot weather outfit how cute oh that was a bad idea can we not get up there? Like, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. There are people in the bathroom, though. We're gonna shoo them out. <laughs> we are going to shoo them out. We're a little smelly. But it's okay. It is okay. Are they gonna leave? Like, guys... Hello? Go away. There we go. One person went away. What about the other one? Because we can't go upstairs, so you get out. Now. Thank you very much. This person passed out. <laughs> Hugo Villier Villarreal passed out. Oh my gosh. Um, does a rude introduction count as an introduction to Ten Sims? Because it should. It does. Okay, now will you leave? Perfect. Now we can use the damn bathroom. Alright, now where did... Okay. Are there any sims we can introduce ourselves to? I mean, obviously there is, but are there... Ooh! Jay Huntington the third. Of course. Of course. I mean, he is quite attractive, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Ooh, Brent. Let's do a funny introduction to Brent. Maybe we can, like, seduce him. Because, like, mm, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. That's all I have to say. Let's, um, enthuse about interests. Um, let, and she ordered a drink. She ordered a drink. We don't have that kind of money, girl. 
That was very rude. You better enjoy the drink, though. Um, let's do an impression. Um, express happiness. Um, give a pep talk, because we're very energized. What did she order? She ordered a sweet and spicy. Alright, you better drink this. You better drink it up. Oh no, our relationship went down. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take photos! Alright, let's get out of this. Um, Alright, we're gonna drink, 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 and drink. Drink it up. Sip, sip, sip. Glug, glug. And we're going to take these photos from across the bar where the light is in the way. <laughs> we have Caleb in the background being spunky. Alright, we're going to go home. Um, Because we need a shower, to be honest. How many sims? Oh, we only have two more sims to introduce ourselves to. Maybe we can go ahead and do that and then like wrap up this part afterwards maybe and that would be the first um whatchamacallit first level of the aspiration complete in the very first part i am going to try and aim to do more than um well i don't know maybe for the party animal i won't do more than two but for the super, or not super parent, um, let's go shower, uh, not super parent, but pick happy family, I'll try and complete more than one, so let's go shower, or she, she's taking a bath, I don't know why she couldn't shower, like I asked her to, but that's fine, so many people eating fruitcake, Minerva Charm, um, under what conditions? Oh, booyah! We got money! Money, 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 money. So, um, let's be irresponsible and get a bar. <laughs> um, as one does. And we're gonna put it here in the future kids room because that makes total sense and I'm gonna put move objects on oh that failed did I type it in wrong mm, possibly there we go and we're gonna go ahead and burnish some of this oh my god stop <laughs> burnish some of this so, maybe we should get a sink in the kitchen. Oh, I really wish we could get a pet. That would be so cute. But, no! Um. Okay, maybe we should get... We have a bathroom. So, maybe we should deck out in the order. Well, okay, let's get a living room so we can go ahead and host some parties and whatnot. So let's get a couch, green, we're going for a green and black thing, um, because, yeah, ooh, maybe we should get a little, um, long one, cool, cool, cool. Um, let's get a radio, or a stereo, whatever you want to call it. We'll get the big one, because we're going to need music for a party, of course. Let's get a coffee table up in here. And we're going to shrink. Um, maybe we won't get a coffee table. Um, let's get a TV thing first. Um, is there, we'll do the black and gray one, um, and we're broke again. 
Of course, but it's a okay. Um, how do we get more pieces? So is it surfaces and shelving? It is perfect. Oh, it it doesn't it doesn't match. It it doesn't match. Of course it doesn't. So we're just gonna do a custom one. We're just gonna do a custom one. Maybe raise it up one. Ooh, interesting. I like it. And we'll get some cubes. So that way it doesn't cover the entire wall. I like it. Yes, I like it a lot. Can we get a carpet? Can we get a nice carpet? I... I dude, I love this carpet that came with Snowy Escape. Because it's only 15 simoleons and you can size it up. And it's just superb. Su absolutely superb. Um, maybe we'll size it down one more, and we'll get a second one, and rotate it, and size it up, and just like that. Oh wait, maybe rotate it the other way. Yes, and just like that, we have a nice little carpet. Cute! And we have 400 simoleons. What can we get with 400 simoleons? Let's see. Can we get end tables? For the bedroom? Possibly? Bless my soul. Her was on a roll. Why do I... I need to watch Hercules, apparently. Because I have it stuck in my head. 300 simoleons. Can we get a nice dresser? Uh, we can get one of these modular ones, which I won't complain about. Um, and we'll leave it at that. Well, okay. So, hmm. Uh, oh, I just hit the mic. Oopsie. Maybe we'll get a mirror instead. Yeah. Um, and we'll put it in this corner here. And maybe we can get, no, the same rug in here, but in green, and size it up big. And rotate. Perfect. It's coming together, and I think I will go ahead and... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Did not want to do that. I think that's enough furnishing, and we bought a bar just like we wanted to. Uh, we want to dance to stereo music. But I have been recording for 30 minutes, and I think that is where I will call it here. Can I see you? Oh, she's, she's stunning absolutely stunning all right but yeah i'll go ahead and leave it there i hope you're having a good day and we'll continue to do so bye, -bye.